how to quickly create and post an order. Let's post a load with reference number 6588 from Green Bay, Wisconsin to Atlanta, Georgia, picking up Monday morning at 8 a.m. The freight is five pieces and 9,000 pounds, and it needs to run nonstop. Do the following. Go to the Orders tab in the Orders grid. Click on the Quick Create Order at the top right of the grid. Enter Green Bay, Wisconsin, or any zip in Green Bay as the pickup. Enter the pickup date time as Monday at 8 a.m. Enter Atlanta, Georgia, or any zip in Atlanta, Georgia as a delivery. The system will convert the zip to a city. The system will determine the distance between the two centers, as well as an estimated date and time for a single and team driver based on the average speed of your smallest vehicle class. Change the vehicle class to be one that can carry 9,000 pounds. The system will recalculate the estimated dates and times based on the average speed of the chosen vehicle class. Click on the ETA for the team drivers and this will pre-fill the delivery date and time. Enter 5 pieces and 9,000 pounds. Click Save. Once back in the order, select the Dock High setting, the Team setting, and set the vehicle size. Enter the reference number 6588. Click Save and Post. The system will present the default load posting screen. If there are no changes to the defaults to post a load, click Post Order. The system will go back to the orders grid and show the load with the status of available slash posted. The system will send an email to everyone interested in getting an email about the posted load and the load will appear on the posted load screen. Go to network and then load board to see the default grid of posted loads. To view the details of a posted load, double click on the posted load in the grid. This will open up the posted load summary with all the shareable data displayed. To unpost the order, Go to the Orders grid and right-click on the order number. Select Unpost Order from Network. The system will present the default load posting screen. Click Unpost Order. The system will go back to the Orders grid and show the load with the status of Available slash Removed and the order no longer appears in the Posted Orders grid. Let's go back and do the same process but slower with more explanation. Do the following. Go to the Orders tab and the Orders grid. Click on Quick Create Order at the top right of the grid. The first pickup type should be City Center. If it is not, watch later in this video on how to set the default selection as City Center. You can choose from Customer. The system will search your customer database as you start typing in the customer name. Any Carrier. The system will search the shared carrier database as you start typing a name. Preferred Carrier. The system will search your preferred carrier list as you start typing a name. Business Unit one of your company's business units. City Center, start typing a city or enter a zip or postal code. Zip, enter a zip or postal code. Location, this will search the global address list managed by the system. Choose customer Fiat in Tipton, Indiana as a pickup. In my test system, I have hours of operation set for this customer record. Note that if I select a date time that's outside the hours of operation, the system will warn me. Enter the pickup date time as Monday at 8.30 a.m. Enter Miami, Florida or any zip like 33155 for Miami, Florida as the destination. The system will determine the distance between the two centers as well as an estimated date and time for a single and team driver based on the average speed of your smallest vehicle class. Change the vehicle class to be one that can carry 9,000 pounds. The system will recalculate the estimated dates and times based on the average speed of the chosen vehicle class. Click on the ETA for the single driver and this will pre-fill the delivery date time. Enter five pieces and 9,000 pounds. This data is optional, but many consider pieces and weight to be critical for bidding on a load. The dimensions are also optional, but the more freight information you can provide when posting an order, the better. Commodity is optional, the only significance of choosing a commodity is if the freight is hazardous. Choosing a hazardous commodity type will set the posted order to be tagged as hazardous. The remaining fields on this screen have no impact on a posted load. If there are stop notes copied from the customer special instructions, you can set a note to be shared. Shared notes will be shown in the posted load email as well as the posted load summary. Click Save. Once back in the order, select the dock high, the team, and the vehicle size. Enter the reference number 6588. None of the other settings are applicable here. 
If you want to see a map of the route, click the Toggle Map blue button in the Order Events heading. This will show the PC Miler map in your preferred map setting. The map has a few controls. The standard zoom controls to zoom in and out. A maximize control to show the map on the full screen. This is a toggle control, so click a second time to go back to the normal size. The arrow button will show the PC Miler turn-by-turn -turn directions. Click the toggle map button a second time to minimize the map. Click save and post. The system will present the default load posting screen. Notice that shared stop notes will appear here as well. Most of these settings can be preset by your user settings. Go to System, then Users, then Manage Users, and find your user profile in the grid. Double-click to open your user profile, then go to the Settings tab. Choose the User Order and Load Posting settings. The default order location will be used on new orders to pre-select the drop-down. You probably want yours to say Customers. Likewise, the default quick order location type will be used on new quick orders to pre-select the drop-down location type. You probably want yours to say City Center. The default load posting type will pre-fill the load posting screen. The default currency will pre-fill the currency drop-down. You can optionally enter how much you will pay an outside carrier to haul this freight. The posting expire minutes will pre-fill the load posting screen. This will make it easier to identify when the posting will expire by default. It will then add this number of minutes to your wall clock time to identify when the posting will expire. The send load post email to additional email list will prefill in the load posting screen. The default note will prefill the load posting screen. This will save you from having to enter the same text every time you post a load. You may also have four other notes that you can choose from to save time when posting a load. When the information is complete, click Post Order. The system will go back to the orders grid and show the load with the status of Available slash Posted. The system will send an email to everyone interested in getting an email about the posted load and the load will appear in the Posted Load screen. Go to Network, then Load Board to see the default grid of posted loads. To view the details of a posted load, double-click on the posted load in the grid. This will open up the posted load summary with all the shareable data displayed. Notice how the shared notes appear. To unpost the order, go to the orders grid and right-click on the order number. Select Unpost Order from Network. The system will present the default load posting screen. Click Unpost Order. The system will go back to the orders grid and show the load with the status of Available slash Removed. And the order no longer appears in the posted orders grid. To keep your orders grid clean, you should cancel old loads off the system. Right-click on the order number and select Cancel Order. You can optionally select a reason why the order was cancelled. If you want to see the cancelled orders, choose the Cancelled Status in the Order Selection filter. To practice, you should do the following. First, go to your user profile and set your defaults for load posting. Then practice. Practice posting an order using the Quick Create Order button. Unpost the order, cancel the order, repeat. If you do this several times, you will become proficient at quickly posting and unposting a single pickup and delivery order. The next video you should watch is how to add stops to an order. This will let you post orders with multiple pickup and delivery stops.